Hello, inflatable fans. I'm out with oldest friend on Selby Canal today. <laughs> Wave your hand. And I did that video a little while ago where I talked about how to get in and out. In fact, I've done several about how to get in and out of an inflatable kayak. But I realized that I never talked about the principles. So I'm going to go through those because oldest friend is here and then at least he'll understand what's going on too. So, are you ready? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. What you're going to do is sit on here. He got me. I have. Right. What most people, the mistake most people make with these is they try to get in and then the boat Angle. rocks away. Rocks away, yeah. And that's when you're going to go in. What you need to do is offset that by putting your weight, your right leg, or whichever leg you're getting, you know, your furthest leg, on the furthest side of the boat. This hand on the dock, or whatever you're getting on, and then that one reaches for the far side. Because your weight's now on that side, if it tips, it tips you in. Yeah. So that's the whole idea. Then you just kind of slide in, and then get yourself comfortable. Right, and that's it. And it's the same, it's the reverse when you're getting out. So when you're getting out, you need to offset your weight on the far side of the boat. One hand on here, push down on this leg as you get yourself out. You can pretty much stand up in the boat then without it tipping. These are relatively stable anyway, but this works on all of them. Yep. Then onto the dock. Now what do you do if you're left legged? You're left legged, you still go in the same way. Oh. <laughs> you're still following the same principle. So you put your left leg in, left leg out. <laughs> <laughs> left leg in, your left leg. Right, now the thing is, I can't reach over there. You can, once you start putting your hand on here, so you, you can put both feet in. Oh, right, okay. But you want your weight on the far side. It helps if I move my ass over. Yeah, that's right, that's it. Now let's just shuffle your fleece out of the way so you don't end up sat on it, or were you planning to? Yeah, I was planning to, Oh, right, to, okay. Yeah. Just for added comfort. Comfort? Right. My bony hands. Beg your pardon. Right, okay. So reach over and then shuffle your weight into the boat. It's a good job it's tied. Well, sort of. Yeah, almost there. It was semi graceful. <laughs> this is never graceful, as I've said many times. <laughs> Yes, there's no getting away from the fact that this is indeed a high one to get in and out of the craft. So, how are we going to do it? Well, let's crack on and uh, see how we get on, eh? Even though this is quite high, I'm still going to follow the same principles that I always follow. Feet into the boat first. I'm going to put my feet at either side of the craft to keep it balanced. Both hands on here. So now, my feet are actually on either side of the boat. The boat's tied up and all I have to do is just lower myself in and I'm in. Albeit not gracefully, but like I've said in other videos, this is never a graceful manoeuvre. Oh, and I've just sat on my sat now. Right, Rav's going in and I'm, I'm kind of intrigued with this one. So he's doing that thing with his weight on the far side. Yeah, he's in. That was a doddle, wasn't it? Let's see if John makes a graceful entry. Look at that, that was pretty oh, good, that. Before. It's like practiced. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this up. If you've enjoyed this little video, you know what to do, all the routine. Hit the like, subscribe, smash the bell, that kind of thing, and then you don't miss out on stuff if you're finding this useful and enjoyable. Alright, thank you so much for watching. You take care. Cheerio.